Hey guys, so today I'm just doing this um, winged out smoky eye look inspired by Jaclyn Hill. I'm starting off priming my eye with a concealer. It's a full coverage concealer by Hard Candy called Camouflage. And I'm bringing it down on the sides there because I'm going to be putting scotch tape on the sides. Now I'm going in with Max Vanilla just as a base blending color all over the lid from top to bottom. Now I'm just going to tape up the sides of my eyes just taking off um, most of the glue off the back of my hand and lining it up with my lash line going up to this side to the end of uh, the tail of my brow. Just that perfect straight line. This is MAC Hausatz. It's just a gray color. It kind of looks black, but it's just a dark gray to start off the wing liner. And now I'm going in with Wedge with a 217 MAC brush just to smoke it out. Any neutral brown will work. So I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. Just keep blending that house that set. So you really want to take your time blending this look. Now I'm going in, um, same thing as I did with the gray with the matte black. Any matte black will work. This is Blackout by Urban Decay. I'm just going to pop a little bit more of it into my crease right there and blend it out. You can just use a clean brush to blend it or a little bit more of the MAC wedge or any kind of brown. I went back in with a little bit more of the wedge. So it just keeps smoking it out until it fades out to nothing. You don't want any hard lines with this except for the one where the tape is going to be. So just keep blending, blending, blending. I'm going to go in with another layer of uh, the matte black. Pop a little bit more in the crease, just intensify it a bit. You can keep going back in until you get the intensity that you want. I just went back in twice. So keep blending it out. Add a little bit more wedge to the brush. So you just want to be really precise with the blending, keep blending it out. I'm just going to bring the other eye up to speed. The nice thing about the tape is that you can be really messy on the edge and it'll just clean it up to a straight line as you see. It's going to wipe off some fallout with a little bit of lotion. Clean it all up. It's going to go back in with a clean brush to blend out that edge a little bit. Now I'm going to take an E30 pencil brush and run that neutral brown wedge color under my lash line. Some pretty funny faces when I do makeup. <laughs> I'm just going to go in with a thin angle brush and run that black out, that matte black color right under my lash line. So you can just keep going back in under the lash line and smoke it out um, to your desired intensity level. So with my Sigma F80 uh, Flat Top Kabuki brush, it's my favorite foundation brush. I'm just applying some of this uh, foundation I'm trying out right now, the YSL Touche Clat. It's in shade BR50. I'm not a huge fan so far, but I'm um, just giving it a shot. It has a funny smell, like if you've ever smelt Nair, uh, that hair removal cream, it smells like that. So I don't think I can deal with that. And it's a little bit too sheer and uh, glowy for me. I prefer a matte finish. But I've got it, so I'll use it. So I'm just going to blend that in back into the hairline. Um, all over a little bit on the ears too, down the neck. I've got a bit of a sunburn, so I'm just trying to blend it on my chest a little bit better. Just gonna conceal any blemishes I have. This was a pretty sheer foundation, so it didn't cover uh, that much, so I'm concealing a little bit more than usual. And that was using the MAC um, moisture select select moisture cover up and now I'm going in around my eyes with my um, Sedona my Sedona lace palette just gonna blend it all in just to color correct a bit so it'll match my foundation better I'm just putting some of that select cover under my eyes it's an NW25 it's just a fluffy blending brush just a cheap brush And I'm just going to set it all now with the Mineral Veil by Bare Minerals. 
bring it down my neck and chest, just blending it all in. Now I'm just gonna warm back up the eye look a little bit. I wasn't too happy the way it turned out underneath the lash line, so I'm just gonna put some chocolatey brown color. It's from um, it's from the palette I used in my Copper Smoky Eye um, Get Ready With Me video. Now I'm just gonna smudge some uh, black coal along the lash line. This is Urban Decay Perversion pencil. It's really creamy. And instead of just going in straight with my gel eyeliner, I just wanted to smoke it out a little bit first so it wouldn't be really harsh. So now I'm going back in with the gel eyeliner. Gonna wing it out a bit on the sides. Now, if you're not really comfortable winging it out um, freehand like that, you can keep the tape on right till the end and just follow the tape and that's a great way to start. That's how I started. Now I'm going in with Revlon um, Photo Ready Bronzer just to warm back up the face, uh, all over the outside of the face. This is just a, um, a Kyo uh, brush from Canadian Drugstore, Shoppers Drug Mart. And with one of my favorite bronzers, Hula, I'm just gonna contour the cheeks a bit, go down the sides of my nose, around the temples, the hairline. Just gonna blend it all in with a clean Kabuki brush. And this is MAC Peaches Blush. And I'm gonna apply a little bit more to the apples of my cheeks than I usually do, just so I don't look washed out with this look because it's pretty dark around the eyes. And blend it all in with that uh, same stippling brush. I'm just gonna darken up my lashes a bit before I put on the falsies. I'm just using um, half lashes that are cut in half, just showing you afterwards as my uh, battery died in the camera. Now I'm just gonna blend the falsies in with the regular my natural lashes with a thicker brush, mascara wand. That's Boldly Bare MAC Lip Pencil. I used a little bit of concealer and some NYX lip gloss in Crystal Soda on my lips. And I'm just gonna darken on my eyebrows a bit here. And that's the finished look. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching, bye.